be sure to check out my second channel called Rob Explains. There you can check out videos where I explain things outside of comic books. What's going on guys? This is Rob and welcome back I say. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome to Top 5 Tuesdays, a weekly series where we count down the top 5 characters, teams, and concepts from across the comic book industry. And this week, we're going to be counting down the top 5 most powerful items in the Marvel Universe. So number five on our list comes in the form of the Ultimate Nullifier. Initially appearing in Fantastic Four number 50 as part of the Galactus Trilogy, the Ultimate Nullifier was located by Johnny Storm at the request of Uwachi the Watcher as the only known method of forcing Galactus away from the planet Earth. While the history of the artifact is largely unknown, the precious little information that we have is smattered about the Marvel Universe in bits and pieces. While rarely ever used in the Marvel comics, the Ultimate Nullifier seems to have been created by Galactus himself, and its power is relative to those who were wielding it. For example, in the original Sin event, one of the Mindless Ones, a member of a race of beings from another dimension that has incredible strength but doesn't have any real thinking power, basically uses the Ultimate Nullifier to destroy destroy itself, and when it does, it creates what's equivalent to a nuclear explosion. However, in Fantastic Four Volume 3, issue number 50, Abraxas, who is the amalgamation of evil that arose when Galactus of the main Marvel Universe was destroyed, this version, this character Abraxas was able to use the ultimate nullifier to wipe out entire realities and actually create new realities. And so because the Ultimate Nullifier has the potential to eliminate realities entirely, what we know is the Ultimate Nullifier is kept under lock and key at virtually all times. Because it's never used, it's usually kept within the safe confines of the Watchtower of Uwachi the Watcher, or else sometimes it's found within the ship of Galactus himself. But regardless of the circumstances, the Ultimate Nullifier is one of the last ditch effort kind of weapons that various superheroes or even villains can use if the Need arises for it. So coming in at number four on our list is the Cosmic Cube. Initially appearing in Tales of Suspense number 79 in 1966, but achieving mainstream popularity with the Cosmic Cube event coinciding with the first appearance of Thanos, the Cosmic Cube is the result of energy stored in the negative zone by the Beyonders being harnessed into a cube form, and it's actually subject to the will of its user. What I mean here is that during the Cosmic Cube event where Thanos was able to capture the Cosmic Cube and use it, it was actually established as being able to fulfill the heart's desires of the wielder, which basically allowed Thanos to become one with the universe itself. However, the cube was presumably drained of all of its power, and ultimately it was destroyed by Marvel of the Kree, and so this resulted in a depowered Thanos just kind of being stranded and stuck out in space. In addition to this, while the various cosmic cubes have appeared over the course of the Marvel Universe and its continuity, and fan Fantastic Four, issue number 319, it was revealed that over time the cosmic cubes will actually evolve into sentient beings of immense power, although we don't really know what these beings do or where they go once they reach their true potential. So rounding out our list at the number three spot is the Cosmic Control Rod. Initially appearing in Fantastic Four Annual issue number six in 1968, the Cosmic Control Rod is an artifact of incredible power that's actually capable of manipulating the molecular structure of all matter in any given universe that it happens to be in. With its introduction into Marvel Comics as a means to save Susan Storm during the birthing process of Franklin Richards, the Cosmic Control Rod was actually stolen by Reed Richards, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm the Thing from the villain Annihilus in the Negative Zone. The result was that Reed's use of the Cosmic Control Rod not only allowed Susan Storm to survive and give birth to Franklin Richards, but also seems to be the reason why Franklin Richards has such vast powers that allow him to warp all of reality. So coming in at number two on our list is none other than the fan favorite, the Infinity Gauntlet. Making its first appearance during the Infinity Gauntlet event itself, the Gauntlet is actually the glove of Thanos with five Infinity Gems being positioned on each knuckle and with the sixth gem being positioned on the back of the hand. Due to the vast power of the Infinity Stones and their ability to allow its user to manipulate all facets of the universe, Thanos was able to use the Infinity Gauntlet to eliminate half the life in the universe by snapping his fingers, defeat an entire contingent of the universe 
universe's most powerful heroes and even replace the cosmic entity Eternity at the top of the pantheon of the Marvel mainstream Earth-616 universe. The power of the Infinity Gauntlet was so great, in fact, that following the Infinity Gauntlet event, the Living Tribunal, who exists to maintain balance in all realities, ordered the Infinity Gauntlet to be dispersed and to never again be assembled except for times of extreme need. So with the Infinity Gauntlet and its vast power being ranked at number two on our list, the question becomes, what's number one? Well, for me, the most powerful item in the Marvel Universe actually comes in the form of the heart of the universe itself. During the events of Marvel The End, Thanos was successfully able to gain absolute power in the Marvel Universe once again. As it was described by Thanos, where the Infinity Gauntlet allows its wielder to manipulate the concepts of the universe, for lack of a better word, the heart actually allows its wielder to become one with everyone and everything in the universe. And so after realizing that a fault existed which would result in the destruction of this universe, Thanos uses the heart to eliminate all life and even destroy the universe in its entirety. However, However, when Adam Warlock appears before Thanos, having existed outside of the main universe, Adam Warlock convinces Thanos to set everything back to normal, which he does. This is the power of the heart of the universe. Thanos wasn't defeated, he simply just kind of gave up and just set everything back. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and bring this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.